These eight coins on the table in front of me were discovered under a windowsill in the Cambrian pub Tredigo when it was being renovated and almost certainly date back 200 years or more to a time when it was believed that placing a coin in a building, especially under a windowsill, would bring luck to that building. Indeed, it relates to the old pagan custom of making monetary or human or animal sacrifices to gods. This is probably related to the old custom that we still follow, which is making offerings to the gods of the underworld by throwing coins into wishing wells. But one of these coins, to me, is particularly interesting, and it's this one, which is a Tredega penny. It's not coin of the realm, it was coinage made by the Tredega company, minted by themselves, for use in their own company shop. Company shops? Well, when Tredega and other iron towns developed almost overnight, there were no shops in the area. And when hundreds of people arrived to work at the furnaces and the, in the pits, they had no shops, nor to buy anything, so the company provided a shop that became a great departmental store. That shop would provide anything that they needed from workday tools to bread and butter to clothes to salt to flour to anything you can name that was needed by the worker and his, his family. The problem was that when a man arrived, he was not going to be paid for the, probably for the next six weeks. And he lived on credit. He and his family had to live on credit. And so that credit was settled at the end of the pay period in the company shop. So the people themselves used these, this coinage. At the end of the pay period, the debt was settled in the company shop, and it is possible that any money left over, anything left owing, was paid out in company currency. And this coin itself, at in the values of today is probably the equivalent of 20 to 25 pounds. One penny then is the equivalent of modern 20 to 25 pounds. These coins were given as change and could then be used in the area because there was very little coinage available at that time. And other shopkeepers would accept the company, almost certainly accept the company coinage. What is fascinating about this, this is almost an unused coin, this, this Tradiga penny and was probably freshly minted when it was first put under the sill, which is just opposite me. I wish there was some way in which we could electronically tap into this coin and learn some of the things that it heard during its 200 years in the wall of the Cambrian pub Tredega.